you will see general consideration of alignment how the alignment should be finalized in the last lecture we have seen classification of canals now we'll see consideration when we align the canal general consideration used for alignment number 1 it should ensure alignment should ensure or alignment should be such that it should be economical way of distributing water economical way means alignment should of the canal should be such that distribution of water should be economical this is depend on economical or this is depend on various factors whether it's a rich canal whether it is a contour canal whether it is side slope canal what are the number of structures which are we are going to construct based on that its cost will be decided second one canal alignment should be such that it will create high command command means area that can be irrigated is not the command area that can be irrigated is known as a command and this canal should be aligned in such a way that command will be higher then alignment should be such that there will be minimum number of cd works that is minimum number of cross drain works karan apan jeva keva canal construct karto to canal definitely road cross karel nala cross karel and during this crossing we will have to construct some structure so that we can carry that canal on the other side suppose this is existing roads existing road and this is here we have seen this is a reservoir this is a canal now if there is a road here this is existing road and this canal has to cross this road if level of this road at this point is higher than the level of the canal in such cases definitely this level of this road is higher level of this top of this canal or top of top bank of the canal is lower than this road in such cases this canal will be at the lower side below this road we will have to construct some structure here we will have to construct structure some structure here at this point so that this water from this canal can reach to this side on the other side of this road and this structure which will construct here is known as a cd work that is cross drainage work which type of structure we have to construct that we'll see in next unit but only thing is here we we'll have to construct cd work or we we'll have to construct structure here similarly there may be some nala here there may be some nala here reaching to this point this nala we have to cross the structure we have to carry this canal on this side now you see here if this is a drain or this is a nala or this is a small river if the level of this nala is 
मच लेस दैन दिस बेड ऑफ दिस कैनॉल बेड लेवल ऑफ दिस कैनॉल इफ यू सी दिस लेवल और बेड लेवल ऑफ दिस कैनॉल इज एट हायर और इज हायर दैन द बेड ऑफ दिस नाला इन सच केसेस अगेन वील हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट सम स्ट्रक्चर हियर एंड वील हैव टू कैरी दिस कैनॉल ऑन अनदर साइड बाय क्रॉसिंग दिस नाला सच टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर विच विल कंस्ट्रक्ट हियर दिस स्ट्रक्चर विच विल कंस्ट्रक्ट हियर इज नोन एज सीडी वर्क क्रॉस ड्रेनेज वर्क एंड ड्यूरिंग द अलाइनमेंट ड्यूरिंग द अलाइनमेंट we must think about this there should be minimum cd works second point consideration for alignment as per as possible we should use watershed canal because in case of watershed canal we can irrigate on both side of this canal because this is a highest point in that particular area then length of main canal should be minimum these are the various points must be taken into account during the finalize the alignment of the canal in case of contour alignment should be changed in order to reduce cd works current contour alignment jar matle tar tithe maximum cross drainage works hete canal alignment should be such that it should avoid the villages or roads places of worships or other valuable properties karan canal alignment karta na ekada jar gaav ekada madhat it sahi tar te avoid karayla pahije in the during the alignment of canal there may be various places mandir it still road it still kai properties it still बैंकिंग such type of depth is not a balancing depth we will see this topic in next next one because there will be problem on this balancing depth numerical on this balancing depth we will see in detail then next point during the alignment there should be number of kings and acute core and last one idle length of canal should be minimum idle length of canal means canal from which irrigation cannot be done सच लेंथ इज नॉट द आइडल लेंथ आणि ही नेहमी एकदम सुरुवातीचा जो रीच असतो डॅम मधून जेव्हा कॅनॉल निघतो तिथे आयडल लेंथ नेहमी असतो कारण बेड लेवल ऑफ द कॅनॉल ऍट दिस पॉइंट नियर द डॅम फ्रॉम वेअर इट इज टेकन ऑफ is normally much lower than level of the farm near that one and normally manunas baraj tikane ro nasto ki ja gavatna canal nikto ekdam shuruvatila tithe pani milat nahi karan ki ti level comparatively jast asto एंड जस जसा तो कैनॉल खाली जो तस तसा लोग मिलते ओके दिस इज अबाउट वेरियस पॉइंट्स शुड बी कंसिडर्ड और टेकन टू अकाउंट ड्यूरिंग द अलाइनमेंट आता इनंडेशन कैनॉल इनंडेशन कैनॉल वेन द फ्लड इज अर्ली इनंडेशन कैनॉल अपन कभी कंस्ट्रक्ट करते वेन वील कंस्ट्रक्ट द इनंडेशन कैनॉल वेन एवर देर इज ए अर्ली फ्लड so that kharif crop can be irrigated in such area 
in addition can also are constructed second when the flood is too late that is at the end of rainy season so that a rabi crop can be used in such cases inundation canal is used then flood remains at high over a constant period in such cases inundation canals are used what are the advantages in case of inundation canal so we say a river and these are canals inundation canal advantages cost is low silt and fine sand finds way in the canal itself as these canals are intermittent these are देर विल लेस ट्रबल ऑफ वॉटर लॉगिंग कारण की रेग्युलर नीसएडवांटेजेस दीज अ नो हेड रेग्युलेटर दीज आर नॉट रिलायबल ड्यूटी इज लो क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ कैनॉल इज नॉट वेल डिफाइंड नॉर्मली this this type of inundation cannot is not available in our area in our area permanent canals are constructed now we'll see next topic that is a bandhara irrigation again this bandhara irrigation in the river small section or structure is constructed within a bank of river you see the word within a bank of river within a bank of nala capacity of this bandhara may be from few hectare to 400 hectares location of the bandhara this type of bandhara are constructed on a perennial river foundation should be good strong and narrow section of taking canal should have good command of taking canal again this is a river this is a structure which is constructed and this is cross section this is a dam just like a dam but main difference is with the height height of this bandhara is less than the bank of this river a river cha jo ke bank asel asa jar river asel to ya bank peksha tachi height kami asta bandharachi so that's why water will be stored within a bank of river no need to acquire land for submergence such type of bandharas are constructed to store the water which otherwise would have gone west and this water will be stored and that can be used by this canal system by constructing head regulator these are constructed on a perennial river with a good foundation of taking canal should have good command culturable area should be is large and then cost of construction is low normally length of canal is not more than 8 km then these are the design criteria of the bandharas it is designed as a low gravity dam that we have already seen in unit number 2 design of gravity dam and we will calculate all the forces then we will check for stability then we will check for overturning then we will check for sliding then crushing and tension all the check will carry out so same design will be done in this case normally bandhara are trapezoidal section having side downstream slope 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 5 then b that is a crest width is a root h where h is the height of the bandhara minimum height is 1.2 meters 
डिस्चार्ज ओवर बंदर इज वन पॉइंट सेवन एल एच रेस टू थ्री बाई टू दिल इज जस्ट लाइक ए ब्रॉड क्रिस्टेड बियर एल इज ए लेंथ इट इज द हाइट अबाउ द क्रेस्ट एंड वन बाय वन पॉइंट टू मीटर स्लूसेस आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड और स्लूसेस आर प्रोवाइडेड टू क्लियर द सिल्ट और फॉर डी सिल्टिंग एंड हेंस लाइफ ऑफ दिल बंदर कैन बी इंक्रीज दिस अन अदर टॉपिक विच में बी आस्क और दिस ए थेरोटिकल वन दिस दिस टर्म्स मज बी नोट यू एंड फर्स्ट इज वर्ड सिस्टम ऑफ एरीगेशन एरिया दैट विल एरीगेट अंडर द बंदारा इज नोट इज थर्ड एरिया विच विल एरीगेट अंडर बंदारा इज नोट इज थर्ड सिस्टम दैट दिस थर्ड सिस्टम द रिस्टोटेड एरिया इज डिवाइड इन नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक्स Area suppose 200 hectare area can be irrigated by the Bandar area system. So this 200 hectare area is known as the third. And this total 200 area is divided into number of blocks, maybe of four blocks or 50 hectare. This each block is known as the third system. And each block is grown, or in each block. Only one type of crop is grown throughout a year. So this is third system is total area that can be irrigated. This total area is divided in number of parts that is known as a fold, and in each fold only one type of crop is grown throughout a year. So just keep in mind this third and fourth system. Advantage is a low cost. Advantage of bandar irrigation is a low cost. small quantity of water which otherwise would have gone waste can be used length of canal is small hence seepage will be reduced and you have pressure will reduce area is close to the construction of bandara hence duty is high so duty delta all these things you have studied in irrigation 1 then disadvantage This advantage of system is area to be irrigated. It's fixed, and even if more water is available, we cannot use. Then more, second disadvantage: the river is not perennial. Supply becomes a seasonal or unreliable. Okay. Now in next lecture, we will see the design of irrigation channel. in the design of irrigation channel or canal channel and canal is one the same thing we see we we'll call this as a channels design of irrigation on based on this design of irrigation channels will be have, will be you will have numericals in examination that we we'll see in next lecture